What you need for this is one cup of water, dish soap, and glycerin. Then you just take two tablespoons of dish soap and one tablespoon of glycerin and mix it together for your bubble solution. Then you take your bubbles outside in below freezing temperature and watch them freeze. If you don't have a bubble wand, you can also use a straw like I did. The water in the bubble solution freezes into crystals appearing on the surface and on the inside of the bubble solution. So if you look carefully, you can see the crystal pattern form on the outside of the bubble. Pretty cool, right? What you'll need is some water, a bowl, and a little toy. We, of course, used some Paw Patrol Pops. And then I just put them in a bowl with a little bit of water um, just enough to cover them and then I froze it and then we took it outside and once we were outside we used the salt to rescue the pups. Salt works by lowering the freezing point of the water which makes the salt block easier to break into and rescue your toys. What you need to make your own toboggan is a towel and some empty paint cans or you could use two liter bottles or anything around. Then you soak your towel in water, bring it outside, and then add your paint cans and kind of roll it to make a toboggan shape. And then you let it freeze. And the water that was once liquid is now solid. And you can also do this, you can make a little bowl with a washcloth. This couldn't be any more fun or easy. All you need is a few different sleds, maybe one plastic, one cardboard, and we used our fabric one that we made. You'll see the plastic one goes very fast. Our cardboard one goes a little slower, but still pretty fast. And the fabric one that we made ourselves well, there's a little too much friction for it to make it down the hill at all, let alone fast. You could also try your body and do a penguin slide. How fast do you go down the hill? To make this is some maple syrup of course and some sticks. Popsicle sticks work better but we only had these on hand so that's what we use. Then you're gonna take one cup of maple syrup more or less however you much you want and boil it to the soft ball stage which is 235 degrees Fahrenheit and 118 degrees Celsius. Then you're gonna take it outside and pour it into strips on clean fresh snow and then take your sticks and roll it up. The cold from the snow causes the syrup to thicken rapidly, which means it's ready to eat and enjoy right away. This one is super easy. All you need is baking soda and vinegar, a cup, and some food coloring. Red would look really cool, but my son wanted blue. And then you just make a volcano out of snow. Put in a cup on top. 
and we put the baking soda in the cup and then we put vinegar in a separate cup. And then you just watch the reaction. All you need for this is a couple cups and some salt. And then you just pour salt into one of the cups to create the ocean, which is salt water. And keep the other one fresh water, like a lake. And then put it outside and let it freeze overnight. Or what we did was we actually forgot about it and let it freeze, let it sit outside for I think two or three days. But as you can see, the lake is frozen and our ocean is not. This is one of the easiest experiments. All you need is a jar and a marker. You fill your jar up with snow and then once it's filled, you make a mark on your jar of where you think how much water is in the snow. And you can see once our snow melted, we were off with where we thought. This one is another really easy one. All you need is one bowl for each room. We did three rooms, so three bowls. And a snowball for each room. So for us, three snowballs. We actually use six. So then you bring your snowballs inside and we put two snowballs in our kitchen, two in our dining room. And then we put the last two in our entryway by our piano. Then we observed which Whoa, rooms were melting faster than the other rooms going. to find the coldest room. Whoa, look at this one. It's almost melted. Oh. 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 Which hand is cold? That hand's cold? What you need is some shortening, a bowl of ice water, and a bag if you don't want your hand to get too messy. You can do this indoors or outdoors. We did it indoors on this day just because it's a little too cold on that particular day. You can actually put your blubber inside of the bag as well if you don't mind getting your hand dirty. My son really doesn't like to get dirty, so we did it this way. The blubber works to keep heat in and the cold out because it's a fat. And fats work well as insulators because of their high density and low Which thermal conductivity relative to the water. If you got outside and tried any of these, I would love to hear it. Tag me on social media.